ambapo gavana wa zamani wa kaunti ya Kakamega Wycliffe Oparanya ameendelea kuandikisha taarifa katika hafisi za tume ya maadili na kumbana ofisadi SCC kufuatia madai ya kufujwa kwa shilingi bilioni moja nukta tatu wakati wa uongozi wake aidha baadhi ya viongozi wanaoegemea upande wa azimio walidai kuwa Oparanya alikuwa na lengo kisiasa hasa kabla ya ziara ya rais William Ruto katika eneo la mashariki chebu taigwen na maelezo zaidi kwa zaidi ya saa saba gavana wa zamani wa Kakamega Weekly for Paranya alihojiwa na makachero kuhusu madai ya kuporwa kwa zaidi ya shilingi bilioni moja nukta tatu kutoka kaunti ya Kakamega wakati wa uongozi wake wa miaka kumi. Uh, when I came here, I told them I was not in a position to answer any question until I'm uh, briefed on issues that I'm supposed to comment on. So that I acquaint myself on the issues because you know very well uh, I left the county one year ago and I'm not privy to the documents that they have from the county and also they, were, they wanted issues to do with 2013-2014 which obviously I could not remember. Maafisa wakisema uchunguzi wao ambao umechukua muda ulibaini kuwa fedha hizo zilifujwa kupitia wandani wa karibu na pia wale wanaofanya biashara kwa niaba yao They never told me the issues they said they wanted to interview me and they were saying mostly it was on procurement yeah Duru zikiarifu kuwa sio paranya tu ambaye alikamatwa bali wandani wake wa karibu ambao pia watahojiwa baada ya madai kuwa kuna fedha zilipatikana katika akaunti zao I have, I, I have just been hearing that they have been interviewing some contractors yeah but uh, I have not had time to sit with those contractors and since furthermore I have left the county I'm not privy to any information about the county. I cannot access any document of the county because I'm no longer an employee of the county. Na japo ESC imetaka wanasiasa kutoingilia utendakazi wa tume hiyo, baadhi yao walifika kutaka kujua hatuma ya oparanya. Wakiongozwa na kinara wa chama cha na Kenya Martha Karua, katibu mkuu wa chama cha ODM Edwin Sifuna, mwakilishi wa Mwakilishi wa kike kaunti ya Kakamega LC Muhanda na wengine ambao walidai oparanya na lengwa kisiasa political yes. and you can see that I have been in the county for 10 years no ESC came to my office even one day and I have been away one one year since I since I left governorship no port came my way on any investigation I was minister for planning nobody came to my office for any investigation so I would wonder why when I have retired that someone is coming to ask me about 2013 2014 is that fair to me it is not oparanya to disrupt a presidential function you made promises to Kenyans you made promises about nzoia sugar about mumia sugar about that road called C41 you know it so and C44 so when you go to western kenya you expect that people will ask you those questions it is not anyone in odm who's planning to disrupt the presidential function in the spirit of creating a conducive environment for dialogue we are saying stop this police harassment stop harassing as mere principles stop harassing our supporters create an environment that is conducive for dialogue. ESCC inashikilia kuwa uchunguzi huu umekuwa ukiendelea kwa muda na katika kaunti kadhaa ambazo ziko kwenye kurunzi yao kufuatia tuhuma za ufisadi. Chemutai going runinga ya citizen.